What's up guys, Subzeric here, back for another VOD review. Today, a Robin Songs VOD review. Uh, look, Robin's a fantastic TFT player, but I'm not VOD reviewing this game for Robin himself. I'm VOD reviewing it for the comp that he ended up playing this game. It's a comp that I want to talk about, uh, one that I want to look at, and uh, and he also got a really, really nice spot to play at this game. So we're going to watch some Robin songs, and from the first shop, you will probably be able to tell what he is thinking about this game. He has two violets and three powders already. He types into Twitch chat, or not into Twitch chat, into in-game chat, family reroll to declare his intention. And uh, and yeah, we we are going to be playing around family this game because we already have so many of the units, another violet and another powder here. Like, I mean, a spot like this, seven copies of these units already is really, really insane. You're, you're often quite happy with like four or five copies of units that you care about in a reroll comp in a spot like this. So obviously having seven at one four is disgusting and we get to make 10 gold and we get welcome to the playground. Uh, you can see Robin's eyes getting huge here. Now this augment, I had to read it so many times to actually understand what it does. If at least two family members are alive after 14 seconds in combat or at the end of combat, gain a random copy of Vander powder or violet, gain a powder and a violet. So what this is saying, the, the only situation in which you do not get a copy of these units is if more than two family members die before 14 seconds, or not more than two family members die, but if all, but if you only have one family member left alive uh, by 14 seconds, you are not getting uh, a copy. The the or at the end of combat is really, it's confusing the way it's written, um, but the idea is to allow it so that like, if you beat their board before 14 seconds uh, and you obviously have two family members alive, then you know, you still get what you get. Uh, yeah, Robin here is actually going to try to min-max this a bit, which I think is absolutely perfect. Draven is certainly the strongest board, but if you put Draven on this board, that means the second that this frontline Violet dies, we're not actually going to get any welcome to the playground. We need to survive 14 seconds before this other Violet dies. So yeah, he even belts here, just trying to make sure that we can get to that 14 seconds, 18, 17, 16. We get to 14 seconds there, so that that second Violet did survive there. So we are going to get uh, another copy. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit confusing. It, it took me a sec to to figure out actually how this works because i was like can you get like two copies but no you can't get two copies around you can only get one copy per round but he still he just wants to ensure by playing uh you know multiple copies of the violet he's essentially ensuring that he he gets this welcome to the play playground proc unless both of these vi twos die or violet twos die uh, i you know you obviously like you want to call her vi and, and like jinx but it's actually like they're different units. There's a Vi in the set. So, uh, so yeah, once again, actually a really, really close fight there, but I believe uh, he did get to 14 seconds. So I think he is going to get another copy. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of, he's he's cutting it pretty close here. His board is actually not that strong. No, he actually lost the copy there. It was right at 14 seconds. That's so, so sad. Um, but now, now he can play double powder, double violet. It's very, very unlikely that his uh, his double powder in the back line is going to go down. So I think this makes sense. Also, check out what he's putting into planner here. I think this is a really, really nice uh, way to, to play around this board. These other conquer units, uh, yeah, the, these other conquer units, uh, Darius and Draven, fit really, really beautifully onto this board. Uh, with Vander, they obviously fill out Pit Fighter uh, and then Watcher for, for these units. And then Echo and Scar also fill out the traits kind of nicely. You do have three out of four Watcher here. Uh, I know Echo like fits in really, really nicely and i guess he just wants to put scar in with the idea of playing around um the the firelight and then you know it's also a watcher so your level eight could potentially be for watcher we'll see what he ends up playing but these units obviously fit really really nicely onto the board here um so once again we're gonna get to 14 seconds here we're actually gonna get the unit now um i think someone in his twitch chat uh, was saying which makes sense that you know you get if you're if you're on home board, then you get the copy immediately. If you're on a way board, then you have to wait until end of combat. It doesn't really matter because it's a reroll comp. Uh, gonna pick up a Vander off Carousel here just for the Vander. Chain's also a pretty solid component for someone like a Violet, you know, building something like Titan's Resolve and Edge of Night, um, or uh, or a Vander who can also hold kind of similar like AD Bruiser items. We'll see. We'll see what uh, he ends up making here because I don't really think there's an obvious slam, but yeah, like I said, we'll see. Gonna get the Vander in here. Still though, we wanna play this board that's just a bunch of copies of these family units just to ensure. Like we we don't really, like if you cut one of these powders, there ends up being a chance here where your Vi and your Vander die or your Violet and your Vander die really quickly and you don't end up actually getting that proc. Uh, this is also a little scary that we're fighting this uh, this player who has the, the Vladimir hero augment because yeah, we are gonna end up winning this fight, which is an ideal unless 
Okay, I was gonna say, if we hit a Violet here, this could actually be fine because we have a decent shot of winning the next fight with a Violet 3 on our board. Now that we don't, I wonder what Robin's game plan is going to be here, uh, just because we'd really like to win that next fight. Now we've we've lost three, one, one. We really would like to win the next fight, but it's pretty hard often to win a fight when you are playing uh, in a situation like this. Yeah, he's even gonna consider this setup, which I think makes a good amount of sense. We're gonna put the the warden or the the watcher uh, in here. Okay, and yeah, he actually decides against it at the last second though. Ooh, this is a board actually that we probably can beat. This is a very very weak board. Who I don't know what this person's actually playing. I, I guess they're playing some kind of sniper reroll setup. Um, maybe like I don't know. Is it? Zeri reroll. This the augment they have is a really cool one, uh, where it allows two star versions of units to appear in your shop. Um, I think statistically and augment stats are getting removed with the start of the next set, so so things will obviously change as things get buffed or nerfed. So I can't completely speak for stats. I do believe the stats right now on PB say that that augment is terrible, um, but. You know, obviously things can change and you don't want to become too much of a stats Andy when when stats are, are getting removed from TFT very, very soon. It's going to be fun. I've talked to a lot of people about it and I think more mo most people I talk to are pretty uh, hyped about the, the removal of augment stats because they just like playing TFT for the TFT, which I think makes a lot of sense. Vander there taken actually is uh, is kind of interesting because it does end up bench locking us. Wow, he even just, he slams into those items there. It's pretty surprising to me just because those could be units and those could be messed up. But look at this, look at this choice for itemization. This is actually really interesting from Robin because in his position here, yeah, he's bench locked here, so he kind of has to sell some stuff. Boom, that is fantastic though. Wow, and yeah, just gonna start pushing level in this spot here, going to level five immediately. But yeah, that's Violet three and Powder three immediately, which I imagine usually that means with an augment like this that it's just gonna give you Vanders for the rest of the game. Um, we'll see. Because maybe, I mean, th there is the possibility of hitting four stars now, so maybe it'll, it'll give um, other units, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm actually quite curious to see how this interacts. All right, next augment though. Rig Shop, not playing three cost reroll, so I doubt we'll take this. Titanic Titan, we're also not really low HP, so I don't think you really need to take this. Item Collector seems fine, so I would default towards that. Uh, the other two just don't really make sense. Uh, God, Dumbify. Dumbify would be insane here. Uh, this would be like the biggest Dumbify dummy of all time, but I, I, I think it's such a bad idea, but I, I would love to see him try it. It would actually be so insane. Um, but, but yeah, I, I don't, uh, I mean, it would be so much HP, but, um, yeah, I don't think so. Find the ladder each time an ally dies, allies that share at least one trait with them, gain three AP, three AD, three armor, three armor. I mean, that also looks pretty solid here. Um, though, I don't know. We'll see between that and item collector. Item collector, you do get another reroll. You don't really need team building here, so then we can just take this, climb the ladder, and yeah, I mean, this looks pretty good. We also did end up getting a Vander here. But yeah, like what I want to talk about uh, with the fact that he itemized this Vander is he knew that he was quite likely to end up hitting a Violet 3 here, but he he really, Robin is of the idea, I guess, looking at this spot, that Vander is actually going to be a better item holder than, uh, than Violet, and he, he really just wants to play for the Vander. I would say that, you know, a lot of these units, it is kind of interesting trying to figure out the, the priority. You know, I'm someone who, like, I actually really, really have not been a fan of itemizing um, powder, but, you know, late game powder can pop off. It's just the powder is very unreliable in the early game of killing units. Also, uh, yeah, picking up that uh, that echo there is fantastic. Let's get scrap in, so he's just going to scrap the giant spell onto the echo. And uh, and like we talked about earlier, echo fits beautifully onto this board. Uh, just has really, really good synergy with, uh, with powder here. And, I mean, you can see why Robin was so high on the Vander. The Vander taking, tanking infinite and doing a lot of damage. He's second in damage there to the echo, which, you know, I mean, pretty pretty good damage from the echo. But also, you, you have to note that he was like, he was basically like full tanking the enemy board the entire time though. So yeah, I mean, maybe this makes sense. Robin's basic, basically his priority on uh, on items is that he he goes Vander first over almost everything. Uh, there is a Hodge here if you want to complete a healing item. Can't pick that up now, so we just have the Giant's Belt item open. Uh, he's going to take Sword here with the idea of it, I'm not sure, being Sterax, I guess, and then we move it over to Violet, or I guess you could double Sterax Vander for now, but we'll uh, we'll see what he wants to, to go for, or maybe he just wants to sit on the, the potential Greed for a, um, a BT. I think I would just make Sterax here and then put it onto Vander just so that I have a three-item Vander, and then obviously that can end up being moved over to Violet later. You're going to have enough removers, kind of, but he's going to Greed for it. We are fighting a... Um, this is a this is a trundle three. This is no hero augment trundle though. This is just the the waiting for learning to wait. What what is it that augment called? I don't know why I'm blanking on the name, but uh, the one that essentially gives you a copy every round. So this person instantly had. That's a really that's a lot of trundles actually. They already have. I think that was six. That's that's a lot of trundles. But hey, in any case. Vander 3 coming next round, which is fantastic for us. It's going to be interesting to see actually what this augment gives after you hit all the three stars. Uh, you know, it's, 
I don't think it's like Yordle where there's a secret uh, fourth family member that, you know, once you get it, you get the family king, you know, you, you end up getting family uh, jinx or something like that. There is also something really, really cool with family if you get to five family where it becomes a cool like loot cash out trait. Uh, I haven't been able to do it in my games yet though. I've seen some crazy screenshots of people who hit it early and uh, it does some wild stuff. Also, oh my God, the the powder actually just popped off there. That was that was nuts. I mean, this is a fantastic spot for Robin, obviously. There's the Vander 3. He's holding on to some extra Darius's, uh, or he could hold on to extra Darius's and Dravens here, but I don't think, yeah, I mean, look at his XP, right? Our Robin is pre-pumped just to push levels. He doesn't really care that much about Draven 3. We have so many units to itemize here already and not that many items to go around. Uh, and we are we were, of course, guaranteed the Vander 3, essentially, uh, from the augment that, you know, like we didn't really need to roll. Also, what are these items? Okay, he is gonna end up making the Hodge there, Shojin onto the Powder here. Uh, and then the question is, what else are we making? I assume we're gonna go for something like a Redemption. Uh, you can move Redemption to like Violet would be the idea, or maybe he's just gonna go Hodge onto Violet. I don't know, I really like the idea of uh, having a Redemption here, uh, but okay, he's gonna go Guard Breaker Echo and then Tear Scrap uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the Tear onto uh, to the the Powder. I mean, I like uh, tearing the, the Powder a lot, just to guarantee that you're getting another potential mana item onto the Powder. I really, I don't know, for, for some reason, I'm really thinking about Redemption just because it's gonna multiply the tankiness of Vander, but okay. Um, item-wise here, I mean, Scrap Emblem seems fine, allows you to scrap some more. I don't really love any of these, though. Uh, obviously, like, we're not really playing that much into Conquerors. Oh, my Epitaph seems fine. Uh, gain six gold for the next three rounds, enemy champions drop two gold when kills. I mean, you could take this as an Econ Augment. The problem is, like, we're, our first Augment is kind of an Econ Augment, so, like, I think double Econ here is pretty scary. Um... Cloning Facility is uh, is an interesting one, just to get another copy of Vander, another Vander 3, which is not bad. I uh, I ended up playing Family and taking this, and it, it did pretty well for me, so. Uh, I mean, I think theoretically this should be stronger than Epitaph, but I guess we'll see. Uh, just because, like, you have this, it's a, it's a bigger spike right now. Maybe down the line Epitaph will be stronger, um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I like the idea of Cloning Facility in this comp when you already have a 3-star. He's just going to go for the Epitaph, though, just as a solid augment. Doesn't actually have that much good stuff to put in. And he is going to end up moving the Guard Breaker down to the Powder here. Yeah, just to get as many items onto our three-star units as possible, as opposed to having an item onto Echo. Makes sense. Um, all right. But yeah, I mean, you can see why Robin had such a priority onto this Vander. This Vander just sitting here tanking infinite and just doing so much damage, right? Second most damage, but he's also like full tanking the entire enemy board. That is disgusting. And boom, okay, that's that's another Powder. So maybe we can actually go for Powder 4. We'll see. Uh, end up getting the um the Tristana in here just really is an emissary uh which I mean you know buffs up the board a little bit but Robin at this point he's going fast nine he knows we're, I'm this strong I'm nine streak here he's solo tanking this I mean I I'm a Vander believer after watching this game I've I've been itemizing I had one game where I itemized like Violet and she did very very well but Vander tanking the whole board and doing an insane amount of damage just solo tanking everything he's just he's such a beast here uh, all right, tier open onto uh, our powder here. I don't actually know what, I mean, maybe like an Archangels? I feel like you really would like some kind of AP item onto this uh, this powder here. And if you can't take that, maybe an item for Violet, uh, maybe like a Glover. Oh, and there's Archangels if, if he wants it, and he does end up picking it up. We'll see if he ends up slamming it. You know, maybe he's not thinking Archangels, maybe he's thinking something else, but I like the idea of Archangels a lot onto this powder just to guarantee that she gets a damage item. Uh, we get a, there was a Leona 2 that we got out of Conqueror, which I mean, okay, that's fine. I guess why why not um and uh and yeah i mean it's kind of funny we don't really have much to play on this board the fact that we're playing double draven is uh a little bit uh tragic but uh but uh, robin has the idea of capping this board out with um with potentially four warden he's he's looking at yeah cutting some of these uh these other units that you know we didn't three star our draven we didn't three star our garen or not garen but uh darius um so we don't actually need to keep those units onto our board it's it's a very very smart way to play all right Ooh, i mean isn't this good enough uh, fortified here. Uh, isn't this very, very solid? It's a bunch of max HP for him to make him disgustingly tanky. Like, I think you just take this. Yep. I mean, I like it. This is, I've, I've had some really, really gross setups with this, uh, with this, um, anomaly. It's, uh, it's just so, so, I, I, I don't know. The more I've played with anomalies, actually, the, the more that I like them. I was a little bit afraid of anomalies. I think I've said this probably multiple times, uh, that I was a little bit afraid of anomalies when I first saw them, because I was like, uh, you know, they lock you into playing a unit on your board, like that's the opposite of flexibility. But I mean, it's a four six, so you've already found your board at this point. Like you're not really gonna full pivot your board after four six, unless you're doing like a fast nine five one setup, which in that niche scenario, that's unfortunate, but I do feel like we've ended up in a world where that's like less and less popular. Uh, and if you're really, really rich, maybe you just four or five it, fine. You really just need to find like, if you're playing around five costs, like one copy of the 
five class you need to play around. But in any case, Triss 2 comes down the pike here. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that he makes the Triss 2 just because like the Triss is coming out pretty soon. Like we're gonna go nine very soon. He's also trying to figure out like what he wants to put onto his board. Um, obviously he wants some of these uh, higher cost, you know, like five cost units onto his board, but it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, Savika obviously really, really nice is like a, a better pit fighter than uh, this uh, this Draven. Um, but uh, but yeah, all right, sword here for the BT. Yeah, the idea being that we can just go for BIS, Vander essentially, then move Hodge over to the Violet. Yep, I love this. I think this makes perfect sense. And uh, we can just sit on this board for a round. I have to imagine we're going nine next round, but I guess we'll see here. And look at this Vander, man, healing so much. Oh man, this Vander unit. Oh, he's looking, he's looking pretty broken in these fights, honestly. Obviously, we hit him pretty fast, but man, this Vander is doing uh, an insane amount of work. Also, Robin's got the cool uh, the little chibi. That's uh, that's pretty nice, but okay. Yep, he is pre-level to nine here, so we're gonna go nine here. I mean, you can certainly add the, the Vi to this board just for Pit Fighter. I mean, does Robin ever go fast 10 in this spot here? I don't think it's that crazy of an idea in this spot. It kind of looks like that's what he wants to do. All right, let's look what he's got in the team planner. Um, so obviously you can fit Jinx in as an ambusher here. He has Jace in here. Um, just for the Jace, it looks like, because we aren't playing a form swapper. Savika in, obviously, uh, and then he's got Jinx in. It's, it's I mean... It's, is Robin just going to full arcane comp? Because a lot of these units, uh, I mean, like you can get Enforcer in here with Kate. It looks like he's just putting every unit uh, that's from arcane onto the board. Um, like, you know, like Heimerdinger, I don't think has any uh, business being on that board, but he's like, you know what? I'll just play all the units that are in arcane. Um, but uh, I mean, hey, this is why we love Robin, right? He's, uh, he's, he's going to go for it. Uh, There's another... We, we finally make our second powder three. We're pretty far off though, I would say, um, of finding a powder four. We would need nine more rounds. Yeah, I don't think powder four is happening this game unless something very, very strange happens, uh, which is pretty, pretty unfortunate. You know, getting to the powder four would be nice, but it's quite hard with an augment like this. Oftentimes you can barely get to a, uh, a four star version of the one cost when you have uh, worth the weight. Uh, I finally remembered the name of the augment apparently. Um, but you know, in this situation, obviously we weren't getting copies of powder every single round. We we're getting copies of all three different units. So probably not gonna happen. We do have another person in the lobby who is uh, the same uh, amount of streak as us, 86 HP. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when we end up fighting them. Sterax here for Vi. Olette looks very, very nice here. We did get another copy of uh, uh, of the unit. There's the Jinx, which is really, really nice. We also get an Alawi, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, I have to imagine Jinx is going to go onto this board. Just getting three Ambusher in is way better than, uh, than a random extra unit. So yeah, this looks good. He's even considering dropping out of this Draven. But you can't do that, right? You you certainly want to keep four uh, pit fighter in. We could play a double uh, powder though, but I mean a second powder with no items, I don't think does too too much. Also, we're getting to the point in the game where this Vander, I mean, I was gonna say he's he's a little like he's having some trouble full tanking the entire enemy board, though I think he's gonna do okay here. My god. I, I wish he would actually I wish Robin would pull up the damage uh tanked from uh from Vander there, because that that was disgusting. But yeah, I mean, gonna continue to chill here and the fast uh the fast ten is uh, is among us. We are uh, we're almost there. We just need one more round, and then we can we can honestly six one it, uh, especially if we win this next fight, just because we're that rich. He, I mean, this this is the power of family. Just an actual fast ten from Robin uh, once he hit the family units, which really he fit he hit very very quickly with the the power of this augment and other stuff. I mean, that's another. Okay, that's another powder. So now we're only six rounds away, though. Oh, we do just barely end up losing this fight, sadly, to uh, to clone even, which is pretty hilarious. But all right, going to start getting out of some of these units. He's going to start putting in his arcane board. Uh, kids, don't do this at home. This is not a... Uh an optimal board unless Robin is going to do something. I mean, these are fine units. Obviously, like having a random Jace on your board is not bad, but I don't think that's why Robin's playing him. In any case, we're going to level here. Wow, that is a really, really quick Jinx 2. That is also a uh, a pair of, of Jaces, a Jace 2 as well. That's an Echo 2 as well. I mean, as as far as good rolldowns go, you can't really ask for much more than this. 
Uh, we should be going for Last Violet item here. Yeah, it, this even child looks fantastic here. Um, and what ended up going in as his last unit, I think it was just a second Vi. Ideally, we would just play the double powder here, uh, just because, I mean, at least she's a three-star unit, but I mean, the eh, Vi's not terrible, I guess. But all right, the powder popping off there, and uh, and we just got this last person who's 86 HP, wind streaking. They were a Quicksilver board, it looked like. There's the Kaelin. We can fit that in, obviously, for uh, Enforcer and nothing else. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's a fun board. It's a fun board. I can't, uh, I can't say it's not bad. I wonder if you ever get to a point, like you, you can start thinking about in spots like this, moving items over to units like Jinx. Uh, the problem being is that like these, these powder items kind of have to stay on powder. These, uh, these Vander items kind of have to stay on Vander. Maybe you could think if a fan like Savika too, of moving Violet items over to Savika. We do have three family in, um, so yeah, not, uh, not bad. Uh, Robin getting actually a little bit stomped by this. Uh, it's Quicksilver reroll. There's Savika too. So, yep, exactly what I was talking about, right? You can move the items over to Savika uh, just because two star five cost tends to be better than a three star one cost. And like, I don't know, you could move Shojin and Guardbreaker over to Jinx, like I was talking about, but then the Archangels kind of has to, oh, he's gonna re, oh, wow. He reforged into a full GS. I mean, not exactly how we should have done that. We definitely should have reforged first, but yeah, this is uh, this is often how you play a one cost reroll comp. Robin, you know, He's playing his arcane comp. He's having a little bit of fun with it, but I mean, he's also just playing still good TFT. I really like the that it, decision to move the items over to the two star five costs uh, because he knows that you know, like he has to, uh, he, he he needs to play for his his highest cap, and and that's the way to play it for its highest cap. Uh, gonna take Shojin here with the idea that it's gonna go into powder, I guess. Yeah, we don't have another reforger here. We still need to live four rounds to get to powder four. Ah, uh, it's so far away. Like, I don't know if we're getting to powder four. But we found these two star five costs faster than we're, we're finding. Obviously, we can't find any more powders in our shop, so we can only get it from uh, this family augment. Welcome to the playground. But all right, we'll see what we can do. Savika rolls us some gold, which is not that useful, but okay. Big Jinx Alt is very nice. Yeah, this fight actually looks way better, even though I don't think anything changed on our board from that fight to this one. But hey, we'll take it because that's another powder for us, which means... We're getting there. We are. We're getting there. Only a few more rounds. He's also got. I mean, he's got four Jinxes. He's got four Jaces. He's got four Savikas. Robin is, you know, in, in all things a content-minded player. He is thinking about the possibility of a three-star five cost this game, which could certainly happen. We have a lot of gold sitting, uh, you know, obviously just on our bench here. We have all these powders sitting there. Yeah, there's another really, really good fight for him. Um, yeah, this was an actual stomp. Okay, did the person he's fighting make his board weaker or something? I don't know. In any case, there's another Violet for us. Another, or actually, no, that was a Vi. Another powder here. And uh, it's looking like maybe it might be a matter of time before he wins. These items on Savika are doing very, very well. Vander, like we talked about, is just an absolute monster on this setup. You might want to uh, oh, that's actually, that's that's fantastic. It, th this is so strange. It almost seems like every single minion round, he's getting a powder from minions. I don't know if that's something, like that's not something that the augment does. It certainly doesn't say that, but it seems like every round he's getting uh, a powder. I mean, unless, I, I guess it's I guess it's working on minions is what's happening, is this uh, augment's working on minions. That must, yeah. I kept thinking he was getting these from minion orbs, but it's actually just, it, it works on the minion rounds. But uh, I mean, great. That means... Okay, this is not the dub yet, but this is the powder for... Where is it? What? Oh, what? He's saying... He's saying the... the I mean, his chat is saying that the enemy board died... Oh, his Vi and his Vander died that fast? That's crazy. All right, he's going to block in some of his units here because he needs to lose this fight to get to his powder for... Is this enough? Is this enough sacking? This person's 13 HP. I don't know if he sacked enough. Can the TF pop off? It's a three and a loss stage seven. Oh my God, Robin, what are you doing? You didn't even get the powder four. Well, this is still a hilarious game from Robin. Very, very fun. Just barely didn't get to the powder four. I didn't realize, yeah, his Vander and Vi died so fast in that fight that he didn't actually get the, the powder. That's... That's, that's insane, because that's the only way that he doesn't get it. Wow. Well, still a fantastic game for a Robin, really showing off the power of Vander uh, and just of this family comp in general. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitch. I'll my the links down below. Thank you guys, as always, for watching.